The research behind feeding seaweed to cows is really exciting and it's not just any old seaweed we want to feed to cows, it's a really special pretty fluffy pink one called Asparagopsis taxiformis. And Asparagopsis is native to the Sunshine Coast and a few years ago some researchers including Professor Nick Paul of the Uni Sunshine Coast discovered that if you feed that seaweed to cows it stops them from burping methane. Now methane from livestock is a huge part of our global greenhouse gas emissions and a really big chunk of our emissions here in Australia too. So we can solve that part of this huge global problem with seaweed, that's really exciting. Chlamydia is still one of the major threats to koalas, particularly in Queensland and New South Wales. 50% of animals are getting chlamydia infections and chlamydia disease. For the females it causes reproductive tract and cysts and it causes them pain as well as uh, making them infertile to some degree. Our research at the uh, Uni Sunshine Coast is all about uh, making sure that we understand chlamydial disease and we've got a big focus now on developing a vaccine. And the results so far, chlamydia are showing that it's a, a safe vaccine. We've used it on hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of koalas now. Um, we're rolling it out into bigger trials and so we're very confident that it'll be a pretty protective vaccine to be used more widely. The cave is an amazing 330 degree, fully immersive 3D environment with 80 screens, which means students have a memorable experience and can recall that information when they come to do an assignment or complete an exam. The students are looking at the connectome, which visualises the neural pathways in the brain. It can also be used to look at different diseases that the brain might have. Well, UniSC is the only university in Australia that has a cave. So yes, we're very lucky. It's a great way to replicate the real world experience.